This week we're doing the second module in the PHP for programming. We are doing control flow if else. Control flow is controlling the flow of program execution in a, in a program. And so the way the computers read code is they read it from top to bottom. So if you give a computer a sheet of code, they're going to read that code from top to bottom. And that's known as sequence flow, sequence. And so there's three types of flow control. There's sequence, there's selection, and then there's repetition or loop. And so with sequence, you give the computer code, it just reads it from top to bottom, reads the different procedures, and then exits. With selection, that's kind of like an if-else statement or a, a case statement. And uh, the way those work is if this condition is true, then do one thing. If it's not true, then do another thing. And the way repetition flow works is it's a loop. And so if the condition is true, okay, we'll keep looping while that condition is true and keep running that code. For instance, it might be like process the students grade so long as there's still more student grades to process and when they're when that condition is no longer true it exits the loop so three flow control structures sequence selection and repetition or loop also known as loop and so we're going to be learning about sequence no selection we're going to be learning about selection uh, control flow if else statements and so one thing you want to know this week is when you get down to number four here there's only four uh, it's going to ask you to pretty much just type this in and create some code here for it to do if a condition is true or false. It doesn't really tell you what condition you should be evaluating. So you could just create a variable like my number, set it equal to a number, give it a semicolon to end that statement, and then say, hey, if my number is equal, and remember you want to use double equals there, two equal signs and not just one, because if it's one, it would be actually assigning a value to the variable. Use two, two equal signs, and if that's true, hey, the condition's true. And if I make this like seven, right, the condition is false. And so uh, that's the one thing to point out is you just need to give it something to evaluate right here. So check that out and do your assignment. Take a screenshot showing me that you have a check mark next to this and submit it for credit.